running your Mac's hard drive is a different task than even a few years ago. If you use Mac OS Big Sur or one of the more recent ones, you have the recovery tool. As such, reformatting your Mac is more straightforward than in the recent past. In this video, we give you a quick checklist of things to do before reformatting your Mac. On the whole, a clean install of your Mac includes backing up your current system, removing instances of your Apple ID from your system, wiping the hard drive using Mac OS Recovery, and reinstalling it through Time Machine. As such, there are a few things you can do before and after. Let's get into it. Back up your entire system. The first task is to back up your system. The most integrated approach, of course, is to use Time Machine. It should be noted that some users have issues with Apple's native solution. As such, there are a number of other solutions at your disposal. Link in the description. Though for the majority of users, Time Machine just works and so you shouldn't really need to look elsewhere. You may already have automatic backups enabled, so this should already be sorted. Though it's a good idea to run at least one last backup to catch every file and folder that you've added recently. To do this, make sure you show Time Machine in the menu bar within the System Preferences Time Machine panel, then click Backup Now within your Time Machine icon in your toolbar. You may have to wait a while, but once the backup is complete, you can move on to more administrative tasks. Grab the installers for your most recently used apps. A great thing about backing up using Time Machine is that your system will be preserved intact, including all of your apps and settings as they were before you started, though it is still a good idea to collect all of the installers for your most used apps as there will be hiccups within the restore process that you won't foresee. Of course you can't, and won't be because of macOS recovery. There's all kinds of reasons this could happen, and it's just better to be prepared. Our advice is to use Screen Time to check out which apps you use the most over a week and get the installers for those. From there, collect all your installers and back them up too. You may not need them, but you'll be very glad that you have them. Collect all licenses and serial numbers for your apps. One other aspect you may miss is to have passwords, licenses and serial numbers handy. It could be that these don't port over during the restore process, but again you'll be glad to have them if you need them. There are many great apps that will help you store keys, but the bad news is you have to put in the work. However, Bitwarden, 1Password and more all let you store important information securely. Once you have these in place stored within your password manager, you can continue to work on the deauthorization process. Deauthorize any apps that use your Apple ID. Apple gives you much advice on how to factory reset your machine. That also applies to reformatting your Mac. In a nutshell, you want to sign out and deauthorize your computer from apps such as Apple Music, iMessage, iCloud, etc. All Apple apps. In fact, any app that uses a restricted number of licenses should be on your list here. While Apple Music may not need your input if you use iTunes, you'll have to do this. Also, signing out of iCloud is a good idea and you can cause issues between your devices if you don't deauthorize iMessage. For third-party apps, checking your purchase history may help you deauthorize some apps, although much like your serial numbers, you may have to dig into your emails or accounts to find out more. Restore macOS, your files, folders and settings. Once you have everything ready, we recommend you make one more backup, again, to catch any changes during the process. And in other words, whatever you do, make backing up the very, very last action before reformatting your Mac. To start the reformat, start up your computer in recovery mode, and you do this in two ways. On a Mac with Apple Silicon, choose Apple Menu Shut Down, press and hold the power button until you see Loading Startup Options, select Options, click Continue, and then follow the on-screen instructions. On an Intel-based Mac, choose Apple Menu Restart, and then press and hold Command R. In the Recovery App window, select Disk Utility, then click Continue. In Disk Utility, select the volume you want to erase in the sidebar, then click Erase in the toolbar. Type a name for the volume in the field name, click the Format pop-up menu and choose APFS, then click Erase Volume Group. When the erase process is complete, click Done, then choose Disk Utility, quit Disk Utility. In the Recovery App window, select Reinstall Mac OS Big Sur, or whichever OS you seem to be using. Click Continue and then follow the on-screen instructions. One final piece of advice has to do with general crashes or freezes. This is an underdocumented issue that can cause you considerable pain, and I speak from bitter experience. It's best to use a wired connection to the internet where possible and to give the process time, especially if you're transferring from an old physical disk drive such as a time capsule. 
For any hard freezes, you will need to shut off the Mac by holding the power button from there, boot up again as normal and continue the process. And this is why you need to keep backups of everything and have installs for all your software because this is the crashes and freezes is where it all goes wrong. So, in summary, Apple's approach to reformatting your Mac on modern systems is a breeze and you may want to carry out a format every week. No, of course not. But if you plan on doing this, the good news is that by using macOS Recovery, you can be done and dusted in a very short time. If you're unsure about the Mac's different startup modes, we have an article about that and there's a link in the description. Do you have any tips about reformatting your Mac that we haven't covered in this video? Let us know in the comments section below. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. I will see you next time.